that my keyboard? The coffee shop, the park, the office, the kitchen, I mean, even lounging. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. This right here is the Logitech Combo Touch and this is the Logitech Crayon. And that was my intro and I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. Let's get into this review. So first, when you get this thing out of the box, the first thing you'll notice is the build quality. This is tough. This thing is tough. The keyboard feels great. There's a material to it that is like a scratchy material that has some texture to it. And what it feels like is something you'd find in a home. And it feels like classy and homey. And it's just like a nice aesthetic piece to your desk that also has ways of productivity to it too. But what's nice about this keyboard is it has multi uses and you have a keyboard and then you pull it off and now you have a case for your tablet. And what's nice about this case is it has a consistent texture on the back and it's locked in here. This iPad is not going anywhere. It's locked in here. It's just a nice case and it's nice that it is a case that's an add on to this keyboard and it comes with it. You have your plus and minus keys for your volume which are covered but have a good good touch to them, your lock button, and those are really the outside buttons. You have your cutouts for your speakers and all those things. But as we connect this in here, it connects via magnet. And what's nice about the magnet is simply the fact that once it connects, you're connected and you can start typing within a second of connecting. But like I talked about a little bit earlier, multi-purpose uses. And the first use is what you probably buy this for and it is the keyboard. So when we talk about one of the most important things when we talk about key travel with your fingers and typing, it's extremely seamless compared to a lot of other devices you may use with a keyboard. The Combo Touch has a very similar keyboard and that's really nice that you're able to go device to device and have a similar travel of your fingers and have typing be something that is easy and seamless. It's just overall a nice experience when I moved on to using this Combo Touch. And then you have the trackpad. The trackpad is like a normal trackpad. Uh, you have your gestures on it. It's big enough, it's clicky. You have all those things. It works well. Backlit keys are another thing that this has, which is nice. You don't ever think you need backlit keys until you're typing at night or in a dark environment and you have no idea what you're typing because you haven't memorized your kind of keystrokes when you type like me. Finally, probably one of my favorite parts of this keyboard is this shortcut function row at top. And these are shortcut functions that are specific strictly to the iPad. And some that I use a lot is the volume up and down so I don't have to reach up here to change the volume. Play, pause, next song, previous song, when I have music playing on here, which is great. And then the brightness, the brightness of the keyboard and the brightness of the screen. So it's nice that you're able to have these shortcuts just built into the keyboard. There's four viewing angles for this iPad. And like I talked about earlier, the keyboard is one thing, but then when you pull it off, you have so many other functions you can do with this case. The four viewing modes are typing, sketching, viewing, and reading. Typing is what it sounds like. It's when you're typing on the keypad and you're using this thing as close as you can to a computer. When you take it off, you have sketching. And with sketching, you bring this all the way back, bring it down here, and you're able to sketch right here. And it's at a good angle, good at your eye, and it gives you kind of a nice angle when you're using the Logitech Crayon, which I'll get into a little bit later of the usage of this thing. But it's a nice angle, but this is also a way where if you don't want to use this keyboard or if you're on your lap and you just want to type away like this, you're able to do so, which is very nice and very convenient that you have the option of the keypad, but you also have the option to use the keys on the screen. Next up is reading, and reading is just bringing this like that, and it's your simple, you're reading the news right here, you're reading a book like this, it's the most compact, it's the throw in the backpack way. This back here that brings it from viewing and sketching is just another magnetic piece, so it plops on, magnet, it doesn't feel like it's gonna form out of place, which is extremely nice for the build quality of this. And then last up, we have viewing, and this is the one I find myself using the most, but 
I just watch content like this. I watch a lot of YouTube like this. Sometimes I have this up here. I'll be editing right here and I'll have this up kind of playing Netflix in the background or YouTube videos and even switching music. What's nice is I'm usually either in this mode or I'm in the keyboard and just to, if I wanna type on the keyboard, all I gotta do is plug it in and I'm ready to go on the keyboard. So this is a Logitech Cran, and the first thing you notice right away is the technology with this thing. And it is almost identical to the Apple Pencil technology. So you turn it on and you're writing right away with no lag, no delay, nothing. It's an extremely seamless process. So I was very iffy on what this would do for me. And when I started using it, I really started to love the feel of it. But as we bring it down to the view mode and we go to write, it's got a really nice feel to it. And it's got a really nice feel to the fingers. It's a nice height. And this thing is very light. And that's the one thing I noticed when I pulled it out of the box and started using it was how light this thing actually is. As I bring this back over here and I talk about my overall impressions of this thing, like I spoke about earlier, when this came my way and it was kind of a no brainer to try to bring the iPad Pro back in my life for the reasons I originally started using it for. Now I do have an iPad mini right over here and this has specific reasons for itself that I've done plenty of videos on. I'll have those linked up above and down below. The quality and build quality of this thing is extremely great and it comes in at a way cheaper price than the Apple version and pretty cheap of a price compared to some of the third party options you can buy. But with that, that's my review on these products by Logitech and I recommend them to anyone that wants to transform their iPad into something a little bit more than a tablet. But with that, I'll have links down below in the description for both the Logitech Combo Touch and the Logitech Cran. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.